Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Now, Mac been doing some research. Mac been checking on a lot of things and going over his, you know, uh, what he's supposed to see, you know, according to what's going to happen. Now, here's the thing that I, I want to apologize, you know. Uh, I I was talking about about the some the silver, you know, gate and stuff like that. Summer social. Now, now I'm not. I, I I thought that that is going to be the gate that's going to open. Now I looked over my notes and looked over everything, and God showed me the idea. Now the procedure that I was talking about concerning the Super Bowl halftime show. Now I'm going to take y'all to the Super Bowl halftime show about uh, Beyonce and Bruno. Now who performed first? Who performed first was Beyonce. I mean, well, Coldplay performed. You know, they was more likely preparing the spell. You know, they was preparing the spell, and then the net, the first performance between, you know, uh, was Beyonce. Beyonce, of course, she did her formation and everything, and they were dressed in darkness. That's what I want you to focus on. They was dressed in darkness, spiritual darkness. Now, guess what? Uh, the woman performed first. Haha, <laughs> watch this. Um, and then who came second? Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars came second. He was dressed in darkness that represented an ideal of spiritual darkness. Now, follow me. Now, of course, Coldplay, the leader of the you know, group, was singing, leading the song. They started going and going to the stage they started you know you know so they started dancing 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 and all of a sudden Beyonce and you know Bruno Mars and all of them start coming together in the summer solstice they started to come together in the summer solstice now what that means well that means that now they were casting a spell concerning you see what they you know stood for of course homosexuality and transgenderism stuff like that things of spiritual darkness um they were casting a spell now here's what the spell they was casting uh understanding the order of the spell is now watch this they now watch this they went through the summer solstice now watch this what this is supposed to be all about that i've been talking about concerning uh isis and osiris you know what I'm saying? isis the you know um the queen of africa uh, I mean, Queen of e e I mean, sorry, Queen of e e Egypt and Osiris, the King of Egypt. Now, it's this ideal of a switch. You know what I'm saying? A switch of power. You know, switch of power that the woman is first, and the guy is second. The man is second. The switch of formation of power has uh, been show forth in this performance. You know. Uh, concerning first, you know, and second, you know. Hmm. Now watch this, guys. That God showed me. Now I don't know if y'all know about Egypt, about the uh, and the hieroglyphs. They have this canoe. They have this canoe in the he, uh, Egypt hieroglyphs. Now they have this canoe that is U-shaped. You know what I'm saying? Now what you don't understand. And on the uh, summer solstice, Isis and Osiris is descended pretty much, or I don't know, ascended in the canoe. This canoe of this uh, uh, galactic is galactic circle concerning the Silver Gate. Now, watch this. Uh, Isis and Osiris has entered the uh, Silver Gate. They entered the silver gate now. They're now in the silver gate right now concerning the spells, you know, that, you know, the Illuminati has, you know, conquered, did concerning, you know, uh, the, the Prince, Prince, you know, and the Will Smith thing, you know, Prince William born on June, June 20th, you know what I'm saying, June 20th was the, you know, summer solstice. And where the silver gate, they have entered into the permission to enter into the silver gate. Now, this silver gate is like a U, like the canoe. You know, you see the canoe 
they got a canoe that goes here and it loops here. Now it's a looping canoe and it's looping to right now there, you know, Isis and Osiris and the Phoenix too. The Phoenix is with them and a whole lot of them. evil is traveling with Isis and Osiris that you don't know about. But a lot of evil is fall, falling through this canoe. You know what I'm saying? That is in the, uh, like I said, galactic Olympic. You know what I'm saying? That they know about concerning Egypt. You know, the, the mysteries of Egypt, you know. Uh, they know about this galactic. And what's going to happen is they're going to loop all the way, all the way to the Golden Gate. The Golden Gate that's in Sagittarius and Scorpion. You know what I'm saying? The Golden Gate that is going to be in November 22nd or tw somewhere in November 22nd or 23rd or 24th. This Golden Gate that's going to be there that a lot of prophecy uh, has been talking about even in the e e e uh, Indian prophecies and in secular prophecies like Nostradamus been talking about this uh, uh, gate, you know, golden gate in Sagittarius, that something is going to awake. And God reminded me of the researches I had with when I was trying to find out, they talking about the, the age of Aquarius. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, the age of Aquarius that they're waiting for. Yeah has something to do with that too because the age of the Aquarius is a reflection I don't know I could it's called a reflection of the the opposite reflection of the con constellation of Sagittarius and uh, uh, Scorpio It's the opposite reflection of it you know what I'm saying that you don't know nothing about because they're not going to tell y'all about this because they know want to know about it because they want to surprise y'all now watch this now, the reason why all this going on and, of course, all this transgender uh, movement, you know, the bathrooms and uh, now they're talking about transgender, the uh, the national anthem in Canada, and they're trying to get this transgender movement going. Is they're trying to do what that serpent that's on your health care uh, symbol, they're trying to twist uh male and female up so that those evil forces that are following you know the uh phoenix you know have a dwelling place to dwell at when they come in november in what they will call the uh you know the age of aquarius you know and they're going to try to take over the world. That's when the crazy craziness happened, the super ridiculous craziness that, you know, in the in the Bible, the release of the Nephilim, the all kind of crazy nut. The, the, the things that uh, Jesus Christ talked about, that men shall have fear, all right, that men shall have fear beyond, you know, um, Men hearts shall fail themselves concerning the fear and concerning the disasters that's going to be taking place at this time. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be facilitated at this situ at this event. You know that people are not aware of. That I'm trying to get you well aware of. That I'm trying to get you. You know, hey, build a relationship with get on build up the relationship concerning the days of Noah and with Jesus Christ. So you can withstand and, and these attacks or this craziness that's going to happen. Because it's going to happen, regardless of whether you like it or not, or you don't want to believe it or not. Craziness, like I said, Satan will always have a plot. God will always have a plan. You don't look at it that way. You think all this darkness and all this evil is going down, happening for no reason at all. You are fooling yourself. All this fool, hey, Satan will always have a plot concerning the evil that is happening right here. And I'm trying to reveal the plot to you. And I just want to encourage, look, people that struggle with homosexuality and transgender, I'm telling you, this is a plot. This is Satan is trying to set y'all up 
for destruction. These evil spirits are going to come out and this time come concerning November, you know, 22nd, I don't know, 23, I don't know exactly. But wherever, where the Golden Gate is uh, at, it's going that gate, they're going to come out of there. They're going to come through that loop and come right in, in come right out in the uh, opening. They're going to come right on the earth and they're going to cause havoc and hell and all kind of craziness. Those that have a, you know, uh, ear, please hear what I'm saying because this is going to really go crazy. And it's about to go down, but I'm just encouraging you. Right now, you can establish a relationship with Jesus Christ and start fellowshipping with people in a, a light and not in the darkness. And, and that right now that you start finding Christians that you should find in church, click up with them, share the word of God with them, get yourself ready, prepare for, you know, uh, what the disasters that are coming and the spiritual war that's going to take place very soon. You know what I'm saying? Concerning all these chain of events. Because, you know, this is what's happening. So that's the message. I hope you understand what I'm saying. And I hope you, you know, take heed to what I'm saying. Think I'm not jabbing with you, but you be blessed. And I'll, you know, holler at you later. That's the message. God be the glory here forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. This traffic is ridiculous, y'all. Ridiculous. <laughs>